Mina, Ohio Gazimas, Jesus Freaking Gamer here with 1 Kings chapter 1 again. Another little message on here that really caught my attention. And it starts in verse 13. This is Nathan speaking to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon. In verse 13, go immediately to King David and say to him, Did you not, my lord, O king, swear to your maidservant, saying, Assuredly your son Solomon shall reign after me, and he shall sit on my throne? Why then has Adonijah become king? Now, I'm not going to address Adonijah and his trying to grab the kingdom at this time. That's not the focus of this message. The focus is on the fact that Solomon, Bathsheba's son, the woman that David committed adultery with, and killed her husband to marry, cover up his crime, and he was forgiven. But this man, this, this, this son, and this woman's son, are the ones that he chose to inherit the kingdom after him. Solomon. Again, the people that, and I would say this is a God choice, the Lord himself actually gave Solomon the name Jedediah, I want to say. I don't know where it is. Google is your friend. Look it up. Um, but yeah, Solomon did have a second name, and Nathan the prophet said, you know, hey, um, the Lord really loves this son of yours. Um, and I'm going to give him the name Jedediah, which means beloved of the Lord. But this is the first time you read in the scripture that Solomon's going to become the next king over Israel. And it's just mind-blowing to me how the son of the mistake got the kingdom. That's mind-blowing. Like of all of the sons and of all the women that David had, this son from this woman gets to be the king. Well, good gosh. It's like anyone, if the Lord chooses you, it could, it could be anybody. It could be anybody that the Lord chooses. And that's the whole point of this message. The Lord can choose you. Doesn't matter where you came from. Doesn't matter your past. Doesn't matter your upbringing. Doesn't matter the mistakes you're in right now. God can deliver you, forgive you, set you free, and set you on a path of greatness. If the Lord's chosen you, that's what matters. Above anything and everything else. If He's called you, if He's chosen you, that's the important thing. Not your background, not your circumstances, not your parents, not your sins. Sins can be forgiven. Backgrounds can be not erased, but they can be changed. You can change who you are now. You can serve the Lord now. You can be called now if you want to be. If you want the Lord to call you, ask Him. Say, Lord, I want to be one of your called. I want to be one of your chosen. It's going to put you down a path of discipline. The Lord's going to make sure that he whoops you into shape before he does anything with you, but he can make that happen. You can be a chosen son of God. You can request that. You can ask him for that. And it just it blows my mind the people that sometimes God calls. And again, the lineage of David ended up being the lineage of Christ. So Solomon, the son of adultery and murder ended up in the genealogy and the lineage of the Savior of the world, God incarnate, Jesus Christ. It's amazing who God calls and chooses. It's, it never ceases to blow my mind, and I want to share that with you guys today. Thank you guys very much for watching. This is the fifth and last message for the day, so I'm caught up for the entire week. Thank God. Did, a he, did quite a bit of work to put all this stuff together and to make it up to you guys for the mistakes that I've made this week. So everything should be caught up in an order once this last message is published. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your love and forgiveness of me. I'm going to continue to seek to be one of the called and chosen myself. I love you. And God bless.